The course is uh, CS31, which is one of the chainsaw suite of courses. It's a small fell, so you process and fell small trees. And the idea is that the, the students will, on Friday, so it's the end of the five day course, the students will take an assessment, which will hopefully lead them to get a certificate of competence in small fell, which basically is up to guide bar length. So we're now on day two of the course and the, we've got three students here. So the three guys have learned the basic felling cuts and we're now going through and practicing those felling cuts. They have today, this morning, um, we've demonstrated the, uh, the process for a forward leaning cut, which is what you're going to see um, Brett do. Um, and they've also dealt with um, hung up trees, so they should have an idea if the tree does get hung up, they'll know what to do with it. Um, and they've used a little bit of winching as well. So if, they, if it gets really hung up, then they should have an idea of how to use the winch. Now on the assessment, it's not actually a requirement for them to do winching at this level. However, there is an expectation that they can at least use the winch. So if we do need to use the winch, then it's expected that they can put it together in a safe manner and use it safely. Although there's no real questions on the assessment about winching. The course is designated at a level two and the students that I've got on here, they're essentially private individuals. So this is not part of a full-time one year FE course or HE course. It's an individual short course that I give and it's to um, private individuals, it could be to local businesses, it could be to government organisations. We've had charities come through and, and volunteers and that sort of stuff. So Natural England, RSPB, all those sort of people, local county councils, um, landscape gardeners, estate managers, all those sort of individuals will come through and do the felling course. When you, which way were we going to roll the canopy? Oh gosh, yeah, that way. Yeah, because okay. I thought I was going to come that way, didn't I? Yeah, so. No, you're totally right, yeah. Yeah, so we've now got basically the wrong side of the hinge has been yeah. taken out, so the pivot's now on the opposite side yeah. to where we wanted. Okay. You can give it a go, you might be lucky. Um, and the other thing, that thumb. Still. Back up again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, okay, give it a little twist, see how you get on. We may have to sever the hinge completely. Round two. Yeah, it's a matter of common sense, really, isn't it? Take the hinge out. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to turn that now. So you're going to sever the hinge completely. If you stand off to the side, keep handle up against your leg, and then you can come in from the back. Okay, from and the then you can cut in that way round. Right. Okay. <coughs> Try and to keep safe distance. Yeah. Me. Try. Yeah. Don't don't just have the saw hanging down there because it will push against you. Yeah. And as it pushes against you, you'll get right. kicked back. Okay, so keep the leg there, that just keeps the saw in position yep. as you're doing doing that. And when you're doing it, try cutting with kind of that, that bit there, part yeah. of the bar. So try and avoid that kickback turn there. Right, okay. Alright?